Yo dudes, what's up? This is Planet Keith, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do a product review of something I bought the other day from Aldi. It's uh, an induction cooking plate, which, uh, yes, I'm looking forward to because, well, I need one. If you're not familiar with Aldi, they're a German-based retailer, discount retailer, but they operate in many countries around the world, and um, they're known for one, selling uh, basically unbranded products, grocery products, very, very cheaply. And two, uh, they have an aisle down the middle of all their stores, which is filled with special buys. Uh, they, these are things, just completely random things that they buy in bulk and sell for, you know, almost nothing. And when they're gone, there are no more. So there's a lot of jokes made about Aldi along the lines of I went to Aldi for a loaf of bread and came back with a two-man tent, a trombone and a chainsaw. Um, so yeah it's pretty much that with this. I went to do a very small shop and um, they had these so I chucked one in. It was £30 and the reason I want it or need it is because of my cooking channel. Um, which is you know this is the set for my cooking channel. It's always better if, if I can have cooking happening in front of me so you can see it without me having to go over there and use the, the normal hob. If you're not familiar with the idea of induction cooking, it's a marvellous thing. It's reckoned to be as controllable as gas in terms of heating and cooling and that's because the unit itself doesn't get hot. The pans don't really get hot, it's what's inside that gets hot and that is done by agitating molecules of water using an electromagnetic coil inside there that does the magic. But for it to work you need to have pans that have some iron content it, it won't work on copper or aluminium, for example. Uh, so, well, normally pans these days are marked if they are induction suitable. If they're not marked, just um, get yourself a magnet. If the magnet sticks, it'll work. If it doesn't, it won't. So when you plug it in, the uh, standby light goes on. And uh, if you press that, the machine is actually active and waiting for you to choose something. That's, that's what happens if you turn it on without a pan on the hob. So there's a whole bunch of preset modes that um, set different temperatures or different times or whatever. So this is soup, this is milk, this is kettle, this is shallow frying, this is deep frying, and that is braising. Anyway, but the important one is this one. So it's like a sound mixer or whatever. It's your actual control panel uh, that is telling us it's operating at 1600 watts. Um, press it again, it's aiming for 200 Celsius. And then you can use the down or the minus to reduce the temperature or the plus to increase it again. You can also quickly set minimum power or maximum power just with a single button. So that's cool. There is a feature to lock the control panel so that nothing can be changed and you do it by pressing this, pressing and holding this button and LOC is displayed in on the LED. Uh, and then you press it, press and hold it again to switch it off. And the idea of that is that your kiddies will never be able to work out how that works. So I'll just turn it off there and let it cool down and then We'll see how long it takes to bring a cup of cold water to boiling on here as against on the gas hob. And when you've switched it off, the, the fan keeps running for a couple of minutes uh, just to cool it down a bit. So I'll just have one mug full of cold water. And I use a stopwatch on my phone and um, well I'll be able to see when it's boiling but also I've got infrared thermometer 26 and a half degrees is that good? I don't know that's interesting my water boils at 96 celsius instead of 100 
Okay, that took 1 minute and 25 seconds, I think. So that's pretty speedy. Now we'll do the same thing. Um, I've chilled the pan down again, so... Have some nice cold water in there. Hello, my love. Hello, darling. Oh, you're not supposed to be on planet, Keith. Hey, <laughs> not wearing your space suit. <laughs> not wearing my space suit, and I need the kettle on account of its tea break. Ah, kettle. Okay. All right. Later. When real life intrudes, huh? So now I'm going to boil the same amount of water on the hob and see how long that takes. We're on three and a half minutes, and we're just about coming to the boil. So 3 minutes 45 to boil a cup of water on the gas hob. That's on the biggest, fastest burner that I've got. So clearly this is the winner on that. There's one other test I want to do, but before I do that I want to talk about this brand Ambiano. Um, I don't know if it is or if it belongs to Aldi, but uh, most of their sort of kitchen electronic goods, like toasters and kettles and things, are Ambiano branded. Um, so I have one other Ambiano product which is a vacuum sealer that I use to, well, vac pack things to go in the sous vide gadget or to freeze and um, it is horrible, nasty and the noisiest thing I've ever encountered outside of an airport runway. It's dreadful but it works and it was cheap so there you go. Uh, so I was worried about the noise level from this because there is a fan involved and potentially fans make noise. Uh, it makes a bit of noise but it's it's a quiet whirring sound. It's not distracting or unpleasant I don't think. So um, yeah so that's good. And uh, the build quality is pretty solid actually. It's, I mean it's plastic and the metal on the side is plastic. Um, this is glass that's glass. Um, so yeah, and all touch sensors, so no uh, no spaces where you're going to get muck uh, and germs hiding. Anyway, I like it. Uh... Right, the other thing, can it maintain a constant temperature? And should it be able to? I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm just going to set this to be, um, I don't know, 60 Celsius. Well, this is interesting. It, uh, it's kind of whizzed up to about 78 Celsius and um, after a few minutes it started to come down again. So now it's at 71. Well, it's 69. It is going down. We'll keep it going. We'll come back to it. Oh, that's 59. 57, 63, 65, 69, 71, hmm, <laughs> well this is getting uh, a bit weird, uh, it had gone down to I think about 68 and now it's back up to 74, I don't know if it would ever stabilise enough, what I'm thinking of is uh, Remember my uh, long egg where, where I had it sous vide in a vertical container, aka a waste paper basket. What I'd like to do is have it horizontal and also have it so that you don't have to invest in a sous vide machine to maintain a comp constant temperature of water. So I just thought, you know, this could be useful, 68 now. Um, Maybe it will, but uh, I'm not going to stand here all day and bore you, bore you rigid with testing this, so uh, we'll come back to that. Okay, that's my first impressions. Uh, very decent product. I, I think £30, that's fine. If it continues to work, that's ultra fine, And uh, but although it does come with a, a three-year warranty. So if it breaks at any point, I'll, I'll be able to get that sorted, so that's cool. So if you, I don't know, have a bed sit or a, a caravan or you've always wanted to play with an induction hob, yeah, you, you could do a lot worse and I have. Uh, this is um, a, a decent thing, so I'm recommending it so far. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.